everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I'm excited for two reasons. I'm going to do my first kind of jigsaw puzzle challenge and this is a brand of jigsaw puzzle that I've never done before. I've only heard amazing things about them though. Cloudberries. I believe they're a UK brand. I managed to snag two of these secondhand. They cost about $40, $45 brand new here in New Zealand, and there's not many retailers that carry them. I think I've only found one. So I did get these secondhand for $25, New Zealand dollars each, which I think is a steal. I was very pleased with that. I hope they meet my expectations because I've, I've just only heard positive, wonderful things about Cloudberry's puzzles. Now, what's the challenge you ask? Well, I got this idea from Janet of Janet and her puzzles. I'll leave a link to the video of hers down below in the description. She had a treffle jigsaw puzzle, a thousand piece, and it was pictures of dogs in squares, in rows and columns. And she did one square at a time before moving on to the next. So look at this jigsaw puzzle. It's gorgeous. It's called Geometry. It has nine squares and it's kind of like a blend of color block and color gradient within the blocks. I mean, geometry, color block, color gradient, jigsaw puzzle. This is heaven for me. I think I'm going to love this jigsaw puzzle or else I'll be so disappointed. So I plan on building one square at a time and I'm not allowed to move on to the next square until I have the first one done. I'll do an overall sort and hopefully I think it'll be actually quite easy because I feel the colors are distinct enough within the squares that I'll be easy to sort them. What will be funny is if I'm done the whole square but I'm missing like one piece and I have to try to find it. Now, they told me the puzzles were complete when I bought them and I've not had any issues buying puzzles secondhand. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that that continues. Now, let's take a closer look at the box. Things I love about this box. First of all, the image on the box, so beautiful, a nice matte finish, look at that. Very simple and sleek, like not too much going on on the box. It's just focusing on the image that the puzzle will have. I love that. And I have seen many people just put these up on their bookshelf because the side of the box is very nice as well. Just gives you the title, the number of pieces. This is a thousand pieces. It has written here, poster puzzles. Now I wonder, I, I'm assuming that means there's a poster inside the box, um, but why poster puzzles? I have no idea. I'm not sure exactly what they mean with that. The back of the box, just plain, simple. In fact, three sides of the box all have the same thing written. And just on the top here, it says poster puzzles designed in the UK by Cloudberries and it has their website. And it says the dimensions of the completed puzzle. There's no specific artist listed. Just simple, nice, sweet. I love it. I hope to get many more. If this is a puzzle I love, oh, I'll want to buy them all and just have them all displayed. So lovely. Let's open the box now. First of all, I may be going crazy, but there's a smell. A sweet, fruity smell. Is that normal? Is that just me? Now remember I bought these second hand, so maybe they kept them next to some fragrant items or did they, did they spray the boxes? These smell good. Do Cloudberry puzzles come with a scent? These smell sweet and fruity. Now look at this. Oh, look at this. Now, there's three bags. Three bags. These are the border edge pieces separated out and then two bags of pieces. Is this how Cloudberry's puzzles normally come? I would think not, but maybe do they include these resealable bags so you can put the pieces in afterwards? If so, love it. If this was just the seller that did this for me, thank you. I will, however, mix all the pieces back together in the box and go from there, but there is a smell. Oh, it's nice, it's faint but it's nice. I'm not going crazy. I swear there's a sweet smell. You have to tell me, people with Cloudberry's experience, let me know. Do they smell nice normally? 
Do they come with these resealable bags? Do they normally come divided up? I have no idea. This is all new to me. It has a little card here. Let's see what it says. A little hello poem. I'll show a close-up of that. It says, Cloudberries. You're holding a special puzzle, one that's different from the rest, sustainably sourced, expertly cut, and designed to be the best. Aw, feeling stuck, missing a piece, or simply want to chat? Just send us a quick message. It's really as simple as that. How nice is that? I love that. So that, yeah, you can reach out to them if you have any questions. I wonder if I should message them. They'll think I'm crazy. Hello, um, do your puzzles normally smell sweet and fruity or is it just mine? Yeah, and then they give their uh, email address, hello at cloudberries.co.uk. So nice. Oh, so in the bottom of the box here, I can see there is a poster. So maybe that's why it's poster puzzles. This is... What is... Oh my... What is this? I can't, I can't keep it all in frame. Look how big this poster is. You know I love a poster, but whoa, I'm loving it already. So we'll get to diving into these. I'm going to mix all the puzzle pieces in the bottom of the box and I'll do some close up shots of the pieces. I hear that they're amazing quality. So that's what I'm expecting. And then I'll do the best sort that I can. Nice little colorful piles. And we'll get the camera right up in close. And I'm just going to build section to section just for fun. I'm loving this experience already. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited right now. So for the love of puzzles, let's get into this geometry cloudberries. That was so much fun. These colors are so beautiful. I reviewed the intro footage and unfortunately the box and even the poster don't come across on camera as bright and vibrantly as I would love them to come across. So, ah, that's unfortunate. I will definitely in post-processing try to enhance that as best as I can. But this is absolutely gorgeous. I used, as you can see, the poster and I made the various piles of all the colors. And to tell you the truth, it was a bit trickier than I expected. I don't think I have the pinks were hard. This section here, these bluey, is that like a yellowy, very light yellowy orange, these pinks and almost kind of whitish and this these pinks that go with the green. I think I have a lot of missorts sorts between those three sections, but hopefully it should be easy enough to find the pieces once I get going. This puzzle isn't quite going to plan because as you can see, the colors do not come across on camera. I just can't get it to show up very clearly. And it just looks so bright. I tried putting my black foam board, but it still doesn't quite work. So this is my progress so far on the first square, the teardrop, which is a very light pink to beige. Perhaps when we get to the brighter colors, like the blues over there, maybe even this yellowish green, but look at those light blues. Those probably won't show up. But over here, these reddy orangey browns, that could possibly work. Those colors are also quite light. So, um, yeah, a bit of a different video. We just adjust as we go. Over here, you'll see some more light colors and then the purples, and then there's the yellowy, lighter oranges. It's a gorgeous puzzle. I just, it's very faint and maybe with my bright lights, it's just drowning it out. But this is how far I've gotten. It's trickier than I thought. I think I have pieces mixed up in other sections. I'll give you an update in a bit. This is how far I got with all the pieces that I had sorted thinking they belonged in this first square. Now I'm recording this without any lights on because I'm hoping that it'll come across better on camera, that the lights maybe just wash out the light colors. You'll see that I sorted some extra pieces that don't belong here. They belong in another section and I'm missing just one piece. Oh, I knew I'd have one piece I'd have to find. 
I quickly looked through all my piles. I don't know where it is, so I'll have to find it before I can move on to the next one. One thing that I did discover with Cloudberry's puzzles, at least with this one, you'll have to tell me if this is common, lots of two-prong pieces. Lots of standard two-prong pieces. And um, what I can tell so far, at least in this puzzle, they definitely have a distinct orientation. They go like lengthwise, like the longer part goes up and down. So these pieces I know will all be oriented this way and this one will be this way. This one's a little, I would guess it would go that way if I had to pick. So I'm not sure where these belong and I have no idea where that one is, but it's a nice fun little challenge. Again, the color is light, but it's beautiful and hopefully some of it will come across on camera, but let's just keep doing the other ones and I hope the darker sections I'll be able to capture a time lapse. I had put a post up on my community tab asking people what they would like to listen to during the time lapse for this video. But as it didn't quite go to plan and the time lapse isn't as lengthy as I thought it would be, I'll save my math riddles and my math stories for another time. Oh, I know you're all so heartbroken. And instead, I'll just leave you to enjoy this little bit of music. And my first Cloudberries puzzle is done. Now I don't have the time for how long it took me just because I was recording here, there and everywhere due to the faintness of some of the squares and it just didn't appeal well on camera. So I apologize about that, but it really didn't take me that long once I got going. The puzzle itself, lots of fun. And there's so many things that I absolutely loved. The box design, the big poster, which does equate to the size of the finished puzzle, um, the design, the colors. I wish there was the ones that are really pale. I wish there was more distinction to make them a bit darker, like the pinks could have been darker or, or the beige is a bit darker, but that's just a, a minor critique. There's just one thing that kind of did lower my expectations and made me a bit bummed because they were so high. And that is, like, I know there, there was a, quite a few two-prong pieces, which is fine. I don't mind if there's not that many, like, specialty pieces. However, I ended up getting quite a few false fits because the actual shape of the prong was very similar between many pieces. Now, because this is more of a color block kind of picture, I tried a piece in multiple places over and over again, three, four places, and you know what started to happen? The pieces started to split. Now, often the prongs, if you try them repeatedly, they'll bend. But these, the top layer of the puzzle piece, they started splitting on me. And I know this is a secondhand puzzle, but some of these pieces were just fine and I was the one who split them. In fact, in the image that I'll pop up, the pink one, I did that, not intentionally, I'm not rough on my jigsaw puzzles. 
and I just was trying to lift it up and my nail caught like the top edge of the piece and that whole thing just separated and split. And that's a real kind of disappointment because I heard only amazing thing about Cloudberry's puzzles, but come to look at it, I was looking over the finished puzzle and the pieces, I have quite a few that they're splitting, they're separating. I mean, is this common? Is it just because of this puzzle with so many potential places to try the piece that the pieces were just a bit more worn? I understand, like, if a puzzle gets done over and over again, I expect pieces to maybe bend or be warped, but these are separating. And that's a little bit different to me because that means the gluing process is maybe not the best. And I'm still curious to know if they come scented or if it's just the two that I have and whether or not Cloudberries includes those resealable bags. Um, yeah, so leave your comments below, leave your input and your advice and your experience with Cloudberries puzzles, let me know. But besides that, love the poster, love the box design, love the variety of images they have available, love the finish. Um, this particular image, just these top two corners in the blue, a bit really faint, a bit trickier on the eyes to build, but overall love the design. So just disappointed in the piece quality. They're splitting on me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what more to say than that. But I'm interested to hear your feedback. And I will be excited to do an Epicurean. But at this point, I would not want to pay full price for a brand new one. I'm not convinced. I'd still probably buy them secondhand, you know, for $20 or so. And I know some of you out there are thinking, $20 for a used jigsaw puzzle? Yeah, we have said it before, I'll say it again, we pay a lot for puzzles here in New Zealand. That's why you want the quality that comes with the price. So, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing, and until next time, ciao!